Game one of the NLCS. Yasiel Puig and his tongue would play a big role. Gene Simmons has a copyright, I believe. Clayton Kershaw, plenty of rest here. Gives up a home run here. Top of the fourth, Albert Almora Jr. for Kershaw. First pitcher in Dodgers history allowed five home runs in a postseason. And we know about his postseason record. He wants to fix it. That doesn't help, but he, he would go five innings here. Just give up the two runs. Jose Quintana, who started game three of the NLDS, was great there. He's in trouble, and it's Puig. There was a backflip. People are talking about it. He's already tweeted about it. Run comes in. Puig is pumped. He wants to deliver in the postseason. This is a rematch from last year. It went six games. The Cubs obviously getting through. And then a fly out here by Johnny Culberson. That'll bring in Austin Barnes. And the Dodgers, there was worrisome, the layoff, maybe the bats aren't clicking, but they come to life and Puig leading the charge. There was an actual dog in the park in the playoffs. Kershaw, who would go those five innings, would lay it off to his bullpen, and they were really good. Hector Rondon here, though, in the bottom of the six. Chris Taylor, first career postseason home run. First Dodgers center fielder with a go-ahead home run in the sixth inning or later in the postseason since Duke Snyder, 1952. How about that for history? Back to Puig. Now the Dodgers up 3-2. He takes it. All right. Takes the first pitch, called strike. No movement. A little shrug, okay. Dale. He didn't take that one. Did not take it. That's two pitches later. Still a play. Left center. Solo shot. So Taylor solo shot. Puig solo shot. 4-2 Dodgers. Four unanswered runs. Cubs look watertight early. We know they had a rough travel situation. Wrapping up the Nationals Thursday. Getting to L.A. And now they trail. And then the curtain call and the tongue. La lengua for Puig. And you know the Cubs are going to catalog this. And then it's Justin Turner. This is the play people are going to be talking about all night. Tomorrow, the play at the plate. Wilson Contreras, who had that incredible throw to help eliminate the Nationals, gets his leg out, denies the plate. Ball gets in there. Now, rule 7.13, we'll all know it, we'll all love it, we'll all hate it. States, unless the catcher is in possession of the ball, the catcher cannot block the pathway of the runner as he's attempting to score. Here's Joe Madden. Madden would be ejected by Lance Barksdale. Game two will be tomorrow 